This isn't even a joke. Like, I think I have erectile dysfunction. Like, I'm serious. I gotta go. If you guys are trying to diet in any sort of way, it can be hard. Say you need to lose some weight, not knowing what to eat, not knowing how to keep yourself full. You're always hungry all the time. These diets got you eating strictly peanuts and greens. It's the worst, right? No. Dieting does not have to be hard. Coming from experience of being overweight, 19 years of my life, I think I have some experience to speak on the top. As a lot of you may know, last year made a transformation in six months that took me from my overweight self to a slightly less overweight version of myself. And throughout my time, I've learned the cheat codes, I've learned the hacks to make it as easy as possible for myself. And today, I'm gonna show you the ways. I'm gonna run you guys through a day with me and show you guys how I make dieting as easy as possible for myself and maybe it'll work for you as well around here we don't take the hard route baby we make it as easy as possible and you about to see that firsthand so come along with me on a day of dieting with backs I really need to get that ED checked out dick this isn't funny Water. What does Baxter's morning routine look like every single day? He gets up, he drinks water. What does he do after a meal? He drinks water. What does he do after he kisses a grandma? He drinks water. On a real note, this is actually one of my biggest tips when it comes to losing weight, is keeping your water intake very high. Not only is getting a lot of water in healthy for your body, it also keeps you full. If you guys struggle to stay full, if you struggle with food cravings, anything like that, say you eat a meal, you're like, man, I'm still hungry. Try drinking a cup or two of water. Some of those times when you're still hungry after you've eaten, it's just your body still digesting the food, you're not feeling satiated yet. I try to get in around a gallon a day. That's probably a good goal to set for yourself. It'll have you feeling good it'll have you feeling all healthy and if you're like baxter i don't like water i just can't stand the taste of water you need help first of all i have something for you bang these low calorie drinks like ice sparkle waters even diet soda they can be really good alternatives to water to keep you satiated throughout the day five cows for the whole bottle we're drinking a pineapple coconut to the face for five calories there's tons of different zero calorie options for drinks i wouldn't get all of your water intake from them but i'd throw them in there to spice it up if you guys get tired of water <laughs> Here I am eating my first meal around 12 o'clock noon. When I'm dieting, trying to lose weight, what personally works for me is keeping my meals towards the end of the day. I usually start eating around 12, one o'clock. Cause think about it. If you start eating at 12, rather than waking up at six or seven in the morning and start eating then, you have a smaller eating window, which makes you less likely to overeat. You usually have a set amount of food you can eat in a day. And if you wait later in the day to eat that food, then it'll be more satiating overall, at least for me. Some people call it intermittent fasting. I call it the back's way. The first meal doesn't have to be anything special. You can eat whatever you like. But while we're on the top, of eating another way to keep yourself very full is keeping my protein very high i always advocate this try to get as much protein as you can in the more protein you get in the more full you're going to be because protein keeps you very full also protein is responsible for building muscle and maintaining muscle i'll give you guys some of my go-to protein sources that i use on a daily basis egg whites lean meats greek yogurt some protein powder stuff like that will keep you full keep you satiated there's a lot of different recipes that you can make if you guys are lacking you already know just go to my tiktok and you got options baby that don't taste like booty cheeks if you eat the back's way you will not fall astray and you'll stay getting paid by the end of the day. I'm a horse, I might as well eat hay. What's my shirt starting to do? It's starting to fray. Oh! I'm not a rapper. Just dance is real. Wait a minute, just caught me playing my Just Dance. Now, if you guys didn't know, the more active you are, the more calories you burn. And with the more calories you burn, the more food you can eat while still losing weight. But this doesn't mean the activities have to be super strenuous. You don't have to do the Torquinator 3000 super hit workout 3 million to burn some calories. You can do what I was just doing. You can play some Just Dance on the GameCube. You can play some basketball. One of my favorites, you can join a twerking competition. What I like to do if I have some free time, I go for some walks. I like to do low intensity stuff. So I'm not sitting there sweating balls. I'm not sitting there wanting to die. And it's real easy and it's a good good way to keep your activity level higher. And that's how Bax keeps his lifestyle a little bit more active. Move more and you can eat more. Um, there's supposed to be like a big cat, uh, I don't know, never mind. Sleep. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, this is probably the hardest thing out of them all. Getting a good night's sleep. Now, when you're trying to do anything to improve your body, build muscle, try to lose weight, etc., sleep is very important. For many reasons, a lot of health reasons as well. One of the main reasons when you're losing weight is that it keeps your hunger hormone in check. Let's say you get a trash night of sleep, you get like three, four hours. Let's say you get that consistently. If you get hungry a lot, that's probably gonna be five times. Getting a lot of sleep is not only healthy, but it's a big factor on your hunger levels as well. I personally try to get seven to eight hours of sleep, and if I somehow don't end up getting that, if I get like five or six hours, I try to take like an hour or two now in the day and you might say to me Baxter there's no way there's no way I'm getting that much sleep trust me I know it sounds hard and I would have never thought I would ever be getting this much sleep but I'm telling you it's a game changer because you gotta get sleep my boy or girl your body a thank you actually speaking of sleep I haven't gone to the gym today and you know when I'm going to the gym I'm going to the gym at 11 o'clock with Jackie Chan and his cousin we're not getting any sleep tonight so we pulled up to the gym what are you doing the day of your wisdom teeth getting taken out pineapple juice it's a life hack and your wisdom teeth out a whole carton the a night whole... before this man just got his wisdom teeth pulled and he's at the gym. That's dedication. He's also small too, so he can't miss a day. All right, so we're in the gym. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite fat burning exercises. Pretty easy, pretty uh, 
Why are you f***ing you zooming into my face? <laughs> this is pretty much gonna burn the lower stomach, burn the love handles right off, and I'm gonna show you right now. You get a bench like this, arches your back. Repeat that. I'm just kidding, baby. We come in here and we train. We don't do any of this special junk. There is no fat burning exercise, and if you think that, you're a dummy. Look at him, show that dummy. He's a dummy. Get in here, find a program you like, stick to it, and stay consistent, baby. And lift some heavy circles. Let's get it. Hi. <laughs> oh my oh. <laughs> this man tried to block me. <laughs> well, Bob. <laughs> What's you doing all that back, Dom? Hey! <laughs> We just finished up the workout. We're the last people here. It's 1 a.m., man. Give me your phone, Dominic. Show them the time. 1 a.m. And we're in the gym grinding. Find what you like. You don't need to do anything crazy. Nothing burns fat in the gym. All you do is build muscle. All you do is burn cows. This is an absolute great workout, and I'm half asleep. I'll pick this back up tomorrow. All right, so I just got home. As you guys can see, working out don't have to be hard, baby. You can have fun when you're working out. It doesn't have to be super serious. You don't have to You don't have to do these crazy workouts. Just have fun. Get some people to go to work out with. Make it enjoyable for yourself, and you'll be chilling. But yeah, I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow morning because Bax ain't all the way here right now. Didn't get to bed until 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm a phony. I don't even listen to my own advice. Before we go, I got two more tips for you. One of them, I was going to show you before the gym because it's caffeine. What does caffeine do? It suppresses your hunger. So it makes it so you're not as hungry and it increases your energy. What do you do with increased energy? You move around more. You burn more cows. That could be in the form of a cup of joe. It could be in the form of pre-workout. Vision code backs for 10% off link in bio. It could be kissing the homies. Anything that gets you caffeinated. And that's what I usually do before I go to the gym. I usually eat my first meal. I usually take my pre-workout and I go to the gym. And the gym, I'm usually in there for an hour and a half, two hours. And then after I get out of the gym, I'm not hungry for another hour. That's three hours killed where I'm not feeling any hunger at all. As long as you don't abuse it, as long as you don't take too much caffeine per day, you should be good. Take breaks from it occasionally so you don't get used to it. That can be a good tool. For the final tip that I'm going to leave you guys with is you have to be 100% consistent. If you mess up on your diet for two, three, four days, maybe even a week, that sets you back at least three, four weeks in progress time. And that's what people don't understand is it? I'm just kidding. It's actually the complete opposite. If you guys mess up on your diet, it is not the end of the world. I'm not perfect along with everyone else. Everyone messes up on their diet. Everyone slips up. I slipped up on my diet more times than I can count. But all it takes is literally just to get back on track. This isn't just a short-term thing. If you guys want to get in shape, if you guys want to lose weight and keep that weight off, you need to develop a lifestyle out of it. So you can't expect to never slip up. You can't expect to be perfect 100% of the time because then you have to do that forever if you wanted this to be a thing. That's just not possible. Go out with your friends and family and have a nice time. Eat whatever you want sometimes. Have a cheat meal once in a while, especially if these things are going to keep you consistent in the long run that's what you have to think about find what works best for you and you will be living the backs lifestyle in no time baby i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it was a help to y'all if you like the video in any sort of way like comment subscribe and drop in the comments what you guys want to see because backs ain't a one-trick pony baby i can do anything as always we'll see you next week for another backs banger love y'all and i'll see you baby